Question 22 is a simultaneous equation. Now, whenever we have a simultaneous equation where one of them is a quadratic and the other one is a linear, what we do is we substitute that value here of y or x, whatever it may be, in place of that y in there. So what we're therefore going to end up with is x squared plus, now the y squared, obviously y is all of that now, so it's 3 minus 2x, and since it's squared, we have to multiply it by 3 minus 2x, and that, we know, is all equal to 26. When we multiply that out, therefore, we're going to get x, oh, sorry, wrong thing, x squared plus 9 minus 12x plus 4 x squared oops, not really good squared minus 26 is equal to 0. Now if we group the terms together the x squared and the 4x squared will give us 5x squared the 12 is on its own and then the 9 minus 26 will give us minus 17 that's equal to 0. Now we need to fi factorize that so we're going to have 5x here and x here, and then we need two numbers that time together to give us 17. Now since 17 is a prime number, we know that will be 1 and 17. Now if the 17 was here, it would multiply by 5 to give us a number which is too great to allow us to end up with a minus 12 here. So we know the 17 goes here, the 1 goes here. A little bit of trial and error helps you identify that this is the negative one and this is the positive one. So what we therefore know is that 5x minus 17 equals 0, therefore x equals 17 over 5, which is 3.4. And wh the other thing that we then know is that x plus 1 equals 0, therefore x equals minus 1. Now what you do is you get this both these values, both the 3.4 and the minus 1, and you substitute them into either equation, but obviously the easiest one will be to do it into this one here. Substitute in place of x to get your y value. So what we're therefore going to end up with is uh, when x equals 3.4, y equals, and again that equation is, 3 minus 2 times x, which is 3.4, and that gives us minus 3.8. And similarly, when x equals minus 1, y equals 3 minus... 2 times by minus 1, and that gives us a total of 1. So our answers therefore are x equals 3.4, y equals minus 3.8, x equals minus 1, y equals 1.